videos I'm new to this so I really don't know how to start these videos um so Matt and I live in Phoenix Arizona at the time being in a very small one-bedroom apartment only have about three weeks left living in this apartment and I thought um, Years from now, I'd probably want to look back and see like, you know, where we were living, what it looked like. Um, and I really wish we would have done this with our old apartment too. But um, yeah, I'm just going to do an apartment tour today before we move um, and see how it goes. All right. Also, meet Nikki. She'll be in like every single um, clip that you see. And she also hates being held. That's a whole nother issue. Are you ready? Let's do it. So this is what the apartment looks like when you first walk in. Um, it's pretty small, but it's kind of cute. Also, there's Nikki. Like I said, she'll be in literally every shot. So now we're just gonna walk in. And I'm gonna turn you. There's our nice three panel window. And then we have this huge like entertainment system. Um, just because Matt loves his video games. <laughs> um, there's also this fireplace, as you can see. Don't really know why. Like, we're in Phoenix, Arizona. It gets like 120 here, so don't really know why there's a fireplace. But anyways, you'll come over here, and here's our little dining room that we have set up. And then you walk over here, and here is a view of our little kitchen. I really like how all the appliances and like counters and cabinets are all like new and gray and white. Um, that's what I really liked about this apartment. The only thing I hate is how tiny it is. The kitchen is literally so tiny. We only have like these upper cabinets to put stuff in and it's, it's nothing. Like we can't fit hardly anything in there. And then you come over here and this is our pantry. And then we'll come in here. This is just where we keep all of our crap, <laughs> as you can see. Um, yeah, and also the only place that I let Matt put up something, since the door is always closed. And then coming out of that room, you can kind of see. I love how the morning light comes in um, through the windows here. It just looks so beautiful. And then you'll come in here to our bathroom. So here's our bathroom. Um, it's a pretty nice bathroom. It's only one bed, one bath. Um, so we just have those cabinets. There's me. And then our shower curtain, bath rug. Um, these little candles and stuff. This is a candle from Target. And this is a little like dish that I got in San Francisco. And there's our, another visitor, Nikki. And then this cute, adorable print is from a little print shop in Gilbert, Arizona. Um, prickly pear paper, I think. Um, yeah, so it's basically our simple bathroom. And then we have a nice closet. I like this closet, it's nice and big. I'm not gonna show you in there because it's a mess. Then you walk out and that's what it looks like. And then our bedroom is right off to this wall or door. And I have the obvious um, Urban Outfitters pillow. Um, hamper, nightstands. Um, I really like these windows too because the afternoon light comes in here and then Nikki can lay in here and sleep in the sun and it's so cute. And then full length mirror, hello. And then our dresser with a lot of stuff on it. Ignore these, I'm doting these. <laughs> and then you come back out here and you're back in the living room and dining room. All right, now I'm gonna take you outside on our balcony. Here we go. So 
So out here, I just have a little hammock. Um, we used to use it a lot in our old apartment just because we had such a nice view, but now we don't really use it. That stuff you can ignore. Um, but yeah, so that's basically the view from our apartment. So now that I've done just like a full overview, I'm gonna go through some like individual pieces um, that I got, where I got them from, and yeah, just like the meaning of stuff. So when you walk in, you see this print, and I got this print um, at like an arts and craft show, I think. I don't know who made it, but it's just so cute. I love these little maps of like where you live. Um, I just think it's so cute. Um, and then it'll come over here. I just have like candles in there, random stuff, picture of Matt and I, lotion, router, yeah. And all these plants and planters are from Ikea. Um, I love them, I've had them forever and they actually look like pretty realistic. Um, and then I just have a whole bunch of crap down in those baskets. And then you'll come over here and our apartment actually gave us this when we moved in which was really nice and then this candle um, is from Target, I believe. Uh, oh no, it's from Bath and Body Works. And then this little Buddha my mom got me. I'm obsessed with Buddhas. And then these are just some flowers that are dying that I got for Valentine's Day. But And this rug is from Home Goods, I think. Tables from Ikea. Um, pillow is from Home Goods, I think. Blankets from Target. And then you'll come over here. This little print is actually a print from our hometown. It's the ice cream store that um, is like really well no known in our hometown. And then this table is actually from Ikea, but I painted all the chairs and legs white. And then I like sanded this down and finished it with a really nice like golden shiny color. Um, don't recommend, it takes forever. I don't remember how long it took me to do, but it was absolutely ridiculous. And then this plant is from, also from Michael's. I think it's like a fiddle leaf fake plant. I cannot keep plants alive, so that's why I have like fake plants. Um, and then just this little painter, I think it's from Walmart. And then Nikki once again. And then moving over here, I got this plant from Michaels, and I need to get a planter for it, but it's actually like pretty lifelike, honestly, like it's not bad. Um, pretty sure this lamp is just from Walmart, this mirror, whoop, what up, is from um, Target, and then you can ignore this TV, we're trying to sell it, um, so we have no place to put it. Oh, that's, let's get a shot of that, that's lovely. So I don't know if you noticed, but we really don't have a lot of stuff and we don't have a lot of stuff on the walls here. Um, it's kind of bare and that's partially because I hate like putting stuff on the walls um, when I know I'm only going to be somewhere for like a few months or a year. So we have been in this apartment for like seven months, I think, and we're about to leave. So it really hasn't been that long. Um, but our next place we're supposed to be at for four years, so I'll definitely be putting more stuff on the walls, making it feel more homey. Um, part of me wishes I would have done more, um, at this apartment, just because it is kind of like, I don't know, it's not as homey as I would have liked it to feel. But overall, it's cute, it's simple, um, I don't have to worry about taking that much stuff down when we leave. We've also sold a lot of things. So that's another reason. Um, I also like the idea of being minimalistic. We've thrown away and given away so much stuff um, and it just feels really good to just get rid of stuff that you don't need, that you don't ever use. Um, we also have like an external storage unit outside um, where we have, keep like our Christmas tree, our like bikes, things like that. Um, so that helps with storage, but other than that, it's a pretty small apartment, but it's pretty cute. Um, we've enjoyed our time here, so um, yeah, we're just looking forward to the next place we move. I um, wanted to thank you guys for watching, and if you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!